Most people do not know that on the same day as Sandy Hook, a nearly identical event also happened in Chenpeng, China. So this is a video about the synchronicities or similarities between Sandy Hook and Chenpeng, a comparison of nearly identical events. They both happened on the same day, at the same time of the day, in the morning, as school was beginning. The first stage of the assaults both had a similar element of the killing of an older female and obtaining a weapon. Uh, with Sandy Hook, Adam Lanza killed his mother and stole her gun. In Chen Peng, Min Yang Jun attacked an elderly woman and steals her kitchen knife. Their relationship is unknown. I didn't have that detail, but I'm just guessing there was a relationship there because they had reportedly had an argument uh, prior to the attack and stealing her kitchen knife. I list the proportionality between the age differences just as a point of interest. If you take the number of the difference in years and subtract the age of the perpetrator, the numbers are pretty close. Just a point of interest. Stage two of the assaults, they immediately proceed to the schools and begin attacking children. Lanza shot, shoots out the glass. It was a locked entrance. The doors closed at 9.30. Yang Jun, coming from next door, just starts hacking as many children as he can. Both of these guys are just attacking as many children as they can. They're both mentally ill. They both had a history of mental illness. Here's a look at the victims. I thought the children are the, the main point. Uh, the, the actual total number of Sandy Hook should say 28 because there was 26 dead and 2 wounded. So it should say 28. But 20 children and the ages. These are both primary schools for children of the same age. I just found it bizarre that both guys are mentally ill. They both attacked an elderly female and stole a weapon, and they both attacked schools of children of very the same ages. These are the astrology charts. I don't do this stuff. I don't I mean, I, I have basic knowledge of it, but I just noted the difference when I took this off this site, that the ascendants are not the same, the midheavens are not the same, and what I've continuously said, and will continue to say, is a much easier system is to simply study the days and the decans that were left behind by ancient civilizations. The distances between the locations and the modern coronavirus locations. So Wuhan, China to Wenshu Township where Chen Peng is located is 123 miles. The distance from Sandy Hook to New Rochelle, which is the epicenter in the northeast of the United States. I understand that they might have had cases in Washington first, but the epicenter, the commonly referred to epicenter in the northeast and the main place where the most people are dying from coronavirus is considered to be New Rochelle, New York, 57 miles from Sandy Hook. In the case of Chen Peng and Sandy Hook, they are 187 degrees apart longitude. That's an estimated point, but I'd also point out that this map is, is a flattened, obviously, view from the North Pole, but still my main point is these are two events that happened on opposite sides of the earth. They were very similar events. They were carried out in a very similar way, and they had a very similar result. Uh, obviously, one didn't have a lot of death because the guy used a knife. The other guy used a gun. But either way, these talking about the 
the progression of events and what actually happened where did it happen and there it is on opposite sides of the earth and they're very close in um, to the opposite sides of the earth in both longitude and latitude the Mayan dates of this the day of Aj is the staff of power so with the night of the Grizzlies this was an event where after 57 years of no bear attacks in a national park in the US two bear attacks occurred resulting in the deaths of two 19 year old women nine miles apart by two different bears and it was a point of great interest among investigators and experts as to the you know what are the odds that this after 57 years what are the odds that this would happen in the same night so that's in the bear decan video I also have but yeah two 19 year old girls killed nine miles apart by two different bears on the same night after 57 years of no attack so Chen Peng and Sandy Hook very similar events opposite side of the earth on the day of Hajj also but this time it's in the decan of metal in the decan of bear it was a bear attack in the decan of metal it was a metallic object attacking children that's all I'm saying it's very simple and the day of Aj is I'm not saying this is a bad day but it is a day when obviously these both both of these individuals were mentally um, handicapped in some way that could serve as a point of study as to the study of time and the flow of it and what does it contain. Wanted to show the distance between Sandy Hook and New Rochelle. There it is, 57 miles. Connecticut's a very small state. Comes right down next to New York, so it's it's a very short distance between Sandy Hook and New Rochelle. It's a very short distance between Wuhan, China and Guangxi, which is the district where Chen Peng is located, about 123 miles, 199 kilometers. This is a map that shows it in perspective. It's very close to Wuhan. China is a very large country. These two places are very close together. And I just think that's very interesting. 